Hey guys, okay, so today I am back in Corey's corner. Ooh. I did some updating, I put up some photos. Peep how cute we are, peep how cute I am, peep how cute James is, peep how cute we are together. Okay, stop peeping. Enough. Enough is enough. Anyways, so I just got back from seeing Bad Moms 2 with my cousin. Um, it was kind of cute. It definitely put me into the Christmas spirit, and I'm super excited about Christmas Halloween. I'm super excited about Christmas this year. Christmas is always just a magical time of year, feeling so warm and bundled up with all the cute lights and everything. So seeing that movie definitely helped me get into the Christmas spirit, and I'm super excited about that. Anyways, getting towards the point of today's video i just thought i would come up on here i got asked by a viewer one of you lovely subscribers i got asked the question corey why do you label yourself why do you always post blah 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 transgender video or transgender q a or transgender morning routine or whatever why do i always label my videos why can't I just live life as a regular woman, blah, blah, blah. And although I understand the intent was good and positive for the question, and I do agree, like I shouldn't have to label myself and I shouldn't have to uh, put those, nobody should have to put those labels on themselves. The reason why I do label all my videos is so that people that are searching for transgender videos can find me easily. I remember back in the day kind of wondering and worrying and obsessing over being transgender and not knowing much about it and wanting to learn more and wanting to see more people that were like me and searching YouTube for videos and at the end of the day I'm making these videos yes to document my journey and to, to document how far I, I go and how far I've come but I'm also really making these videos for you guys out there watching and to teach people and to inspire people to be themselves and to just teach and inspire self-love and, and positivity and so for girls and boys out there searching for my videos searching for videos of transgender people like them and just searching for searching for answers and searching for for inspiration that's why I tag all my videos and I was just going to answer the the girl in in the comment um, but I thought it I thought first of all I'm not gonna say it's something that hasn't crossed my mind before every time I write a title to a video I'm always like transgender or whatever it just it feels weird to type it not in a sense that I feel weird calling myself transgender because I'd rather call myself transgender than anything else but weird in the sense like she said that i shouldn't have to label myself but again in order for people to quickly know what my video is about it's not even just for that purpose it's also for other purposes as well like i don't want somebody clicking on my video thinking that they're going to get something that they're not um and just having the title so blatantly obvious I think it just sets up a lot of, it just allows for the right people to click on my videos that are searching and wanting to find content about people that are transgender. Because like I said, at the end of the day, I make these videos to inspire positivity and self-love. As much as we like it or not, society does label everyone. That's just the way it is right now. And maybe one day it won't be like that, but as for right now, everything and everyone is labeled as something and I want to be the first one to be able to, to label myself and I don't want I don't want people thinking one thing when they click on my video and then opening it up to find something completely different or I don't want those people that are searching for a video like mine to pass me by because they don't because the title doesn't tell them that it's what they're looking for if that makes sense. So anyways, that's it. That's why I put transgender in the title of all my videos. Who knows if it's something that I'm going to do or continue to do for forever. But as for right now, I feel like it is something that is right for me to do. I feel like it's something that it's important for me to do. And usually when I make decisions, I typically follow my heart and my gut. And that's what my heart and my gut tells me to do. So I hope that answers your question. 
and I hope that um, helps explain kind of why and I hope that comes across very well and not ignorant in any way. I know how much it meant to watch videos of transgender girls back before I even started transitioning and just knowing that I could be that inspiration or that positive couple minutes of or happiness in somebody's life just to get them through at a hard time, I know how it feels. And I'm going to continue to spread positivity and love to people out there and continue documenting my journey. And I wish you all good luck with whatever you're going through. I hope you guys had a good day. This is the end of this video. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and stuff down below. Subscribe so you can see more videos from me. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.